There is no way. You can just get an actual Tyrantrum? Oh no, that's the cardboard cutout. The first time I ran into this thing, it was a shiny. And I thought it was always shiny for everybody. But apparently not. Apparently not. So our goal today is just to decide what the final team will be. Now I have a pretty good idea of which Pokemon I want to bring. Uh, there's the Ninetales Gengar that I really like. Guess, I don't know if I would want Wukong. We only want two fire types either. I swear we decided last episode what the final team was gonna be and then I just completely forgot. First though, I wanna go get the Poke Radar. I just realized we never finished this side quest. <laughs> like I started it a million episodes ago and never came back to give him the blue flowers. So here you go, my boy. Does that mean we now get Oricorio? And also, what form is it going to be in? Maybe the ghost form? Because that's the last one we got? Looks like the bird is taking a liking to ya. Yeah! We got- wait, it forced itself into one of our Pokeballs. Nice. Dang, now we got to look at the Oricorio fusions too. And I'm pretty sure... For completing uh, that quest, we can get a new reward from this guy that's in like all the hotels. Let's see... As a gift for having helped so many people, we get a sleeping bag. Nice. So now we can sleep and change the time whenever we want. That's pretty awesome. We love a free Pokemon. That's right. And I believe we're about to get another one because I was reading that apparently there's a restaurant somewhere in the south of Saffron that we can get a fossil in. A fossil that we haven't gotten yet. Uh, but I haven't seen any restaurants around here. Oh, I forgot we have a speed up too. Noise. This is definitely not a restaurant. I was saving to use this Togepi once it evolves, but it doesn't seem to like me much. <gasps> what? Wait, no, I thought she was going to give me Togepi. Hello? She gave me a shiny stone. I actually don't even know. Can you get Togepi in this game? I mean, obviously you can get Togepi, but where do you get Togepi? I'm going to have to look that one up next. Because Togekiss is one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm a Capricorn. You should be very proud of yourself for making it all the way here then. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I also kind of like wearing glasses. <laughs> it would be weird not to wear glasses anymore. What the frick? That was the restaurant? Okay. You found me again. Did you come to challenge me to another battle? Well, you're in luck because I found even more fossils. I'm pretty confident I can beat you this time, so I'll let you have one of those new fossils if you can win. You're on, buddy. Let's get it. Even though my team is not exactly... complete right now, I would say. We do have some pretty strong Pokemon, though. Oh my god! Yo! That is a crazy fossil, bro. What is that? Anorith and, uh... Omastar? Or I guess Armaldo because of the name. Which means it might be weak to Flame Charge if it's Bug. No? Okay. What? I mean, Armaldo is... I'm just going to use Earthquake again, dude. I'm not trying to die right now. Okay. Promise is a promise. I want the Jaw Fossil. And of course, with that, we can get ourselves a Tyrantrum. Or Tyrant, technically. But eventually, it'll evolve into Tyrantrum. Which seems like a pretty awesome fusion with Dusk Noir, so I think that's what we're gonna go with. Wow, a potion! Can we get any more fossils out of this guy? No? Alright. Whatever. Wait, what's actually here? One free meal every day, that's our promo. Whoa! A fancy meal? What is that? Is that like a healing item? <laughs> it tastes fantastic. Alright. What is this gonna do? I mean, I guess I'll give it to... Bro, I shouldn't have wasted it. I guess I should probably go get the fossil first. Although once we fuse it, it'll gain a lot of levels from the other Pokemon. So Dodrio for Skarmory. Dude, Skarmory fusions sound kind of sick, but I don't have a Dodrio. Oh my God, what? Yo, this was not here before. A robot that looks like us? 
This is R.E.D. It's controlled by a top edge trainer AI. It's 100% unbeatable. Don't believe us? How about this? I'll give you something really good if you can beat it. I mean, I want to try now. But first, I got to see if my team is up for it. Okay, actually, this will be good experience. So let me just first get my fossil. Wait, what? No. no. The frick? Wait, what? Why does she only have Articuno and Zapdos? Where is the guy that revives our fossils? Is it you? Oh yeah, it is you. Okay, let's give him the jaw fossil. And we got Tyrant! Very cool. I'll nickname it like after we fuse it. Um, and I guess there's a PC right here. So actually we can make the fusion right now. We're going to do Tyrant with Dusk Noir. Have you ever thought of doing a 24 hour stream? Dude, I can barely do four hour streams. Like, <laughs> I definitely need to build up my streamer tolerance or whatever you call it, endurance. Oh my God, that Tyrant Sprite. Yeah, let's, let's definitely fuse this right now. What? There's no custom. Okay, well, we know that evolution has a custom at least and it says level 55 apparently. Uh, let's see. If it's actually going to give us a level 55, I hope. Less training, right? Oh my god. That is freaking hideous, man. I promise it's going to look better when it evolves though, okay? It just doesn't have a custom sprite right now. But Ghost Dragon is pretty awesome. I mean, Giratina, Dragapult, some of the best dragon Pokemon. And we can get the Strong Jaw on it. Damn, that is a pretty good attack stack though. And special D. Oh, it's actually pretty defensive overall with a decent attack. So even though it's slow, it can take some hits. Okay, now I'm ready to see if we can actually fight this thing. I guess we got to talk to the owner though or creator, whatever. No, the frick. I want to fight it, bro. I can do this. Uh, let's start with Ajalax. Wait, you can only use one Pokemon? Then we might as well go for Ajalax. Robot Red has Blisto? Oh my god. Hold up. Is this just like to train levels? What is it? What is happening? Okay, you can you can do that. I got Sacred Sword, bro. That actually did not hurt that much. Okay, we're gonna have to belly drum up. Oh my god. No way. That's what this thing is? It's just gonna try to outheal us forever. Raise up its stats and outheal us. That is suck. I mean, our sacred sword still almost one shot it, but it's gonna soft boiled. Come on, man. If it didn't soft boil, we could have this easy. Come on, just don't soft boil, please. Please don't. No. I mean, low key, I still feel like we're we're slowly doing. Oh. Thank you for transforming. Wow. Holy, we are going to get so much experience for this. Oh my God. Uh, I don't want high horsepower. Never mind. I thought that would give a lot more experience. I can't believe it. You must be some kind of genius. I've never seen a battle quite like this before. Well, I suppose I have to keep my word. Here's the prize. The infinite splicer. Dude, that's what... Someone in the chat was saying earlier. I'm pretty sure that means we can now make any fusion we want for free. I mean, let's find out. Yeah, infinite splicer. Let's do it. <laughs> this looks kind of oddly cute. Like it's got like a round small bowl shape. Oh my gosh. Sneenub. <laughs> oh, we have a lot of rare candies actually. So let's go for one on Dusk Runt. And we already get the evolution. Oh my god, look at that sprite, bro. It's already going crazy. Let's go. <laughs> that is so big. Thanks to its gargantuan jaws. Dude, it literally even goes over the text. That's how big this thing is. The text even cuts off. Look, it doesn't finish. There's just a the randomly at the end of the sentence. And we get rock slide too. Hell yeah. 
Now we just need Shadow Punch on this thing, and it will be an absolute monster. Like, look at that attack stat. Oh my god. Ah, here we go. We got this mysterious house, and they call me the Pokemon Psychiatrist. For $3,000, I can give one of your Pokemon a new nature. Oh, however, it's random. Are you kidding? Hold up. Can I, can I like save scuff? Save scum, whatever they call it. Like save the game. If we get a bad nature, we just reset. Mordecai's a bit docile. Let's do it. All done. He's now brave. We made some real progress. Come back whenever you want to change your Pokemon's nature again. All right. I mean, that's horrible. Thank you. We were not facing the lady before, right? Also, why did the music break? That's a little concerning. Oh, wait. No, look. It didn't save. But it's going to be random again, right? Like, he's not just going to be brave again. I hope. He's still brave. Okay, so no matter what, it gives us brave. So what if we do it again? It's going to go from brave to modest. Yo, I'll take a modest nature on Mordecai. So in Cerulean City, apparently... Between the Nugget Bridge, there's like a gate, and a lady there will give us the Poke Radar. It says she's on Route 24, unless you have to like surf to get to her. Yo, hold up, where there there is something. Maybe on the other side. Just not trying to run into any Pokemon right now. But yo, I just noticed how Mewtwo's cave is actually purple in this game. That's pretty awesome. Is it you? No, it's not this lady, is it? Is it you? It's definitely not you. <laughs> I don't think I have the poker radar. Maybe I do have it and I just didn't realize. But I don't think I have it. Let's see. Key items, right? Oh. So anyway, uh, Slackoth. Where is Slackoth? Route 6. Alright, let's go to Route 6, everybody. Here we go, Route 6. So if we use the Poker Radar, what? Oh, it has to be in the grass, right? Okay, someone also said a good strat is to use a Repel. Because I think it's gonna work like the one in Pokemon Oras. Omega Ruby Alpha Flada. Now let's try this Poker Radar that I didn't know I had. Oh, that's kind of cool. It shows you the Pokemon available in this route. And the first one we get is Slackoth. <laughs> Let's go. We got Pico. I don't have any Quick Balls though. Or a Quick uh, False Swipe Pokemon, I mean. I don't think Slackoth is very fast, but it works anyway. Oh my god, he looks like he's picking his nose. <laughs> or he's about to. Yeah, we're definitely grabbing that one. The Slacker Pokemon. And our team is full. But that's alright. You can just go to the PC, bro. It's always respect to Pico. Oh, and you can do chain in this game too? Yo, can you chain for shinies or what? Hold up. What? So this this would be another slack off, right? Oh, dude, that's awesome. I don't know if that actually chained, though. Like, after I beat it... Yeah, it does show the grass shaking, but it wasn't... Huh? Or do I have to keep using it to get the right... Like, the shiny patch of grass, because... Only the shiny patch has slack off in it. Unless this is? Wait, bro, it's not... The chain is not working. It's not just me, right? Like, I'm not tripping. Like, it shows... Oh, what the frick? We got Pikachu. Well, we broke our chain. Oh, well. Okay, so now I want to try to go get the HM replacement items. Because I'm tired of having to fly and surf and everything with my Pokemon. So we can get a replacement for fly in Goldenrod City. And thankfully, we did go there before... It can be done as soon as you've cleared Team Rocket from Sylph Co. Find the train station, go to Saffron, sorry, Goldenrod, and go to the department store. Oh my god, we gotta go back to the department store. Oh, hey! Pico's already evolving. 
I kind of like the cuteness of Slack Off, but I mean, we're going to have slacking eventually, so one step closer. Also, don't know why I have Mordecai still. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I came here to get the freaking teleport, and now I'm forgetting that it's here. It says here it's on the top floor, though, not the basement. Oh, you have to take a lift to the basement. Okay, so we actually have to do this. Hello? What the f- What? What's ha- What's going on here? <laughs> Alright, I guess we gotta take the elevator. Safety inspection. I'll just use that as an excuse to come take a nap in here. Please don't tell my boss. Interesting. Uh, wait, this is the same floor, bro. Okay, let's go down to the basement. Apparently, this is where we can get the replacement. And yo! There is no way. You can just get an actual Tyrantrum? Oh no, that's the cardboard cutout. Why did they put it in the basement now? Huh? This is the shiny we ran into all those episodes ago. But now, for some reason, it's down here. The first time I ran into this thing, it was a shiny. And I thought it was always shiny for everybody. But apparently not. Apparently not. Hanging out, having fun, maxing, relaxing, all cool when a couple of boxes showed up in my basement. And I don't know where this teleporter is, finally. I got caught up with PTSD from that dinosaur cutout. But yeah, that will basically replace Fly, so we don't actually have to have a Pokemon use Fly HM anymore. Now we got a couple other goodies down here. And there's a radio. Okay. Uh, but there's another... Let's see. We can get a replacement for Surf in Fuchsia City, apparently. Go south to Route 19. When you come out to the beach on the other side, speak to the guy on the right. He will challenge you to a surf race. Well, thank you for spoiling it, Reddit. Let's do it. That's the spirit. Yo, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, it's a surfing race, I thought. But I'm on the beach. So this is the finish line. First person to complete two laps wins. Ready, set, go! Oh my god. Yo, we actually doing this, bro. Yo, this is kind of Oh my god, I already messed it up. Oh, come on, bro. Okay, well, he's... There's definitely some parts where you can... Get some, uh... Cut some corners to get ahead of him. Like, right here. Bro, no way he's going faster this time. What the hell? Oh my god, I got stuck, but we still win. Yo! First try! Let's go! One fair and square. Thanks for surfing with me. You were real impressive out there. I want you to have this. Epic! <laughs> What's good with Gardevoir? Oh my god, we gotta make like the most degen furry bait fusion. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, the Gardevoir Jinx though. Actually, this could be like the next form of Vanji. Wait, there's 11 variants with the Vaporeon. Hold up. What? Oh, Sailor Venus? Or is it Sailor Neptune? I mean, that's the only kind of like... Well, I don't know what this is a reference to, but... It's kind of cool. <laughs> I mean, on the real, if we want to go as degen as possible... Probably something like this. Let me see if there's any other cool ice type forms. Yo! The Yuki Ono? Or what is it called? This is like a yokai, right? I mean, that's actually what Frostlass is based on. It just looks more like it. I'm between these two, and I know everyone's gonna vote for this one already, so... <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't even do the vote. Togekiss Gardevoir? Oh, dude, I forgot about Togekiss. Hey, yo! Hold up. Oh, this is with Togetic. Oh, no, this is with Togekiss. Dude, Angel Woman? Oh, my God. We could literally have Angel Woman. <laughs> but what your team really lacks is Dugtrio Machoke. Hold up. What is Dugtrio Machoke? Now I got to know, bro. Oh, my God. I don't even know how cursed this is going to be. The Swole Trio? Let's see. <laughs> Yo, that's awesome. It's exactly what you would expect it to be, and yet... The Masters have awoken! Hold up, hold up, hold up. 
Yes! That is so awesome! Oh my god! I also kind of want to see what is a uh, Duskull and Duskull make? Dude, this is gonna be demented. I already know it. Yo! Is that like a blood coming out of its eye? Oh, it's got multiple sprites. Oh? That's kind of twisted. But I definitely like this. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting we have the teleporter now. So apparently it is to the south of Cerulean City, which we were just in. We're going right back. And to the daycare. Nice. I can cut trees down by myself too. How did I never notice this back room? Unless they added this later? Raising baby Pokemon's challenging, but Pokemon that have been taken care of since the moment they hatch from their egg will go stronger than most! Okay, so it's not her. What about you though? Someone abandoned this egg here, poor thing! Gimme! I got you. I definitely wish I picked that up earlier because... I love Togekiss. And I would have definitely had a Togekiss earlier, but... Hold up, there's another like secret over there. There's a pink Pokeball. Oh, is it up here? Oh, it is! We got the full incense! I don't know what that does, but nice. <laughs> oh my god! I wasn't showing the game! It's okay, you didn't miss much. I literally just used my super incubator. Oh, I thought my game broke, okay. <laughs> you can literally just make it an egg. Nice. Wait, is there the other egg? Oh my god, we got a Halloween Togepi. This is actually gonna be kinda cute, seeing these two grow up. Well, I guess this one grow up when they're fused. Uh, from a little baby Ralts. Oh my god, they're both level 1, I just realized. This is gonna be a pain to train, for sure, because they're both level 1. But we are about to go through the victory road. So, yeah, that's, that's Ralpy. Should we reverse it? I mean, at this point, honestly. Wow! It kind of looks like the egg yolk spilled out and became sentient somehow. Like it formed a body around the yolk. Or made of yolk. Either way, it's going to be much better when we evolve it, okay? Like right now, it's literally a little baby egg thing. It'll get better. Kind of sad we didn't get to see it as a slack off, but the final fusion will be Aegislash and Vigoroth. Eventually slacking, of course. Oh, this doesn't even have a custom sprite. But wait, it kind of looks like it does. I think it's just glitched. Like, sometimes it shows there's no custom sprite. But there actually is. I'm hoping this is one of those cases. It is definitely not one of those cases. Wait, what ability do we want, actually? Because... If we don't give it stance change, it's going to have truant, right? We definitely do not want Truant. Look, it might not look that great right now, but trust. Okay, trust. Wait, it's level 60 now? What the hell? Maybe we keep this, maybe we don't. We'll see, because, I mean, Pico is usually slack off. I feel like as a slack king, maybe, maybe it becomes P-King. Because <laughs> it's a peak. The Pokemon is peak. All right, it's peaking. I'm, I'm sticking with that, all right? But if you guys want to redeem some nickname suggestions for either one of these two Pokemon, I'm all ears. Uh, someone said good training is like to the right of Fuchsia City, supposedly. Yeah, we need to train Nyingar too. Is it this girl? There is no way it's this girl, bro. She got a bell sprout. Frick, I should have gave him the bell, whatever it's called, because it needs happiness. Name the Ninetales Gengar Kurama. Ooh, that's cool. Actually, there's two people that said that, so... Well, one of them is the nickname Redemption. Oh, wait! It's already evolving? Oh, because Curlia, of course. I'm like, there's no way we already got the happiness from one battle. What? Wait, did we? This is not a Curlia. That's it. Huh? I am so confused, dude. How we already got a Togetic. 
but I'm not complaining. That's right. <laughs> okay, maybe because we use the super incubator on it or something. I have no idea. But also that was not the girl I was thinking of. Apparently there's like some girl here that has like a super strong... Is it you? Oh, it's a double battle. It might be this one. No, this ain't it. This, this definitely ain't it, bro. But I mean... We can discharge. That's gonna hit Nine Guard too, which is not good. And we're gonna have another evolution. Okay, this time it's Curlia. I'm at least glad we got to see both forms or all forms. Now we got Togelia, which is not that cute either. Oh, but there's at least custom. Well, not really. <laughs> okay, Battle Girl East of Fuchsia. Battle girl. Is this not... Is it you? I'll battle you. Yeah. This is a... Cur oh, is it... Bro, there's no way this is it. Does this thing really give that much XP? 1,500? I mean... I think the reason why people say that that thing is OP is just because you can, you can heal right there. I don't know. I feel like that's not that much XP. We got a couple of name redemptions, so let's do that real quick. First off, <laughs> I guess this is going to be Bob. Kurama for Nyingar and Celestial for Togetic. Now we got the squad. Raiden, Sunny, Peking. <laughs> Amazing. I do want to see the reverse of this one, though. Go! Reverse fusion! Oh my god, it's got little sparkles! Okay. I kind of like the other one more, but whatever, I'll take it. Yeah, it would be cool if it got stronger every time we rematch, but... I mean, at least you don't have to, like... Like, it literally, you just re you just talk to them over and over. It's not that difficult. Wait, what the f... Well, she didn't get stronger, but her sprite changed for no reason? They do get stronger. You know what? Dude, she literally just evolved. That's why her sprite changed. It freaking evolved into Crobat. And we're gonna get another Evo. Let's go. Wait, we got Togekiss? No, that's not Togekiss. That should be Gardevoir, right? Oh my god. Get that off my screen right now. Come on, tell me at least this one is a special sprite. Oh, yo, what a sheep. <laughs> that is awesome. There's even other ones, but come on, this one, no brainer, absolute winner. And actually, if we have a shiny stone, which I'm guessing, oh yeah, we literally just got one earlier. We can get ourselves a Togekiss right now. Is this it? Is this what we've been waiting for? Kind of. <laughs> that is a really cool sprite, but what we're really looking for is this. Yes. We get Anja Woman. Huh? Isn't it supposed to be Serene Grace? Maybe we have to like refuse it. I hope. Because I, I don't want that either. What the hell? Yo, we just got higher level from unfusing. Does it... Can we cheat the system and just get a higher level by doing this? Wait, we just went from level 30 to 50, bro. Huh? Hold up. I kind of want to see what the reverse one looks like now. Oh my god! <laughs> We're soaring, flying. But no, we still don't get Serene Grace. Which I don't know why. Hold up, what if we fuse with the Super Splicer? I feel like we can get a higher level. Yeah, level 50 this time. Okay. Oh! We got Serene Grace now, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> and now we have completely different natures too. I don't know what is wrong with this fusion system, but oh my god. We got it! <laughs> this is so dope. Unfortunately, there is not a movie learner in this Pokemon Center for whatever reason. 
but there's one in this one. I know for sure this thing can learn Nasty Plot. Or can it? Okay, I don't actually see Nasty Plot or the Calm Mind that we had. Oh no, we already have Calm Mind. But we do have Moon Blast, which is absolutely crucial for Togekiss. I think I'll get rid of Psychic? No. The thing is, Serene Grace ups the chance of the of triggering like the the additional effects. So actually Psychic is pretty good. Let's see what Bob can learn. Yo, if the Oh my god, he gets head smash. Let's go. With how much attack this thing has, my god, it is absolutely going to destroy itself because head smash does so much damn recoil damage, but also the enemy. Dude, imagine we could learn all the fang moves instead of the punches. That would be awesome. We don't have any other like jaw moves, do we? Nah, actually Shadow Sneak might be better than Shadow Punch. Okay, what about Kurama? Tell me you can learn Sludge Bomb, please. Oh my god, you don't have Sludge Bomb. But he has Nasty Plot, yo! Okay, I need that. Come on, tell me I got Sludge Bomb. <gasps> we do, let's go. Dude, my team just got so much better. Our team is stacked now. Holy. The only one that really needs more moves is Peking. But like you put Iron Head on this thing and we're set. Also, I want I always like saving the rare candies for when we actually get to the Pokemon League. I don't know why. That's just like a personal thing of mine. I like using all my rare candies on the very last hurdle or whatever. It's like the final training. You know? Oh, she! I forgot about this! Wait, actually, I don't think this is even in the original games. I'll whip your munch as a warm-up for the Pokemon League. Let's go! We get to test out the new team, bro. We got our rival butt. I know that there's a rival battle here in the original, but I don't think it's at this point. Like, you fight him way early on. Oh god, I hope this is... Wait, actually, even if it is a ground type, it's fine. That, I don't think it is, because it just got paralyzed. But I'm going to still go Surf, just in case. So, I'm, never mind. I guess it's Flying Poison. Die! Okay, maybe I'm just forgetting then. I didn't remember... I don't remember fighting him at this part of the game. But you guys are saying that we do, so... Either way, we're about to kick his ass and hopefully get the two level ups that we need for the ending, the double evolution ending, dude. That is going to be so sick. Electados. Yo, get in there, Sonny. Come on, you need to get this level up. Oh god, don't tell me it's electric flying. No! You suck. You know what? Whatever, I'm going to set, set up on you right now. I'm a dragon dance on him. Oh, and we get the flame body. Let's go. You're dead now, son. You're about to get swept by Sunny. Sunny D. Unleash the power of the sun, baby. <laughs> Even though we're using Earthquake, so it's not really much sun power going on. It's more like... I don't, I don't know, bro. We got one more Pokemon, though, and Hex. No, I don't want that. What is it? Blastmeleon. How does this man still have a Charmeleon? How? <laughs> Come on, man. Really? All right. You get paralyzed, too. Love that. You know what? I want to show off all of our Pokemon. So get out here, Celestial, and finish this... I said, finish this off for us. Ooh, that's an... Yo, that Moonblast animation. That was kind of crazy. I realized that Moonblast was never in a 2D game before, so... There we go. Our rival is dead. And Peking is actually Peking right now. This is going to be so awesome. If only I hadn't spoiled it for myself before, I would probably be screaming right now, because this is probably the best Bright 
that I've seen so far. Like, he's holding the sword on the edge side. Also, these alternate sprites, like, bruh. You got the monkey from Sekiro. I forgot what it's called now. The guardian ape. This one, where he's, his, his arm becomes a sword. All of these are peak. And yes, I know his name could be misinterpreted as something else. I get it. I get it. All right. I kind of like the extra bonus bonus effect of Sacred Sword, like ignoring stat changes. <gasps> I forgot, bro. It's the double evolution. Oh my God. Okay. This one I actually have never seen before. And this one we've been waiting for all playthrough. Yo. Finally, the first bug dragon. Oh my God. Dude, this actually reminds me of Dark Souls 2. It's like the Moonlight Butterfly or something. I mean, this one looks more derpy. This one looks more serious. But I don't know. I think I want to go with the derpy. I mean, Sunny. Oh, there's, there's something oddly cute about Sunny. So I'm going to go with this one. And we get Quiver Dance. Oh, dude, it's over. It's even better than Dragon Dance. But we'd have to switch to being a, like a special attacker. Which, I don't actually have any special moves on it right now, so... I'm not sure. I think I might... I mean, we gotta see the stats, actually. Because Quiver Dance is pretty damn strong. We have Adamant Nature. That's the first not good. You know, actually, we could just risk it. We could risk it with the Cinnabar Island Lady. Actually, technically, there's no risk. If we just save the game beforehand, we can just go back. All right, let me see what she gives us. And we go from Adamant to Timid. Bro, that's literally the best we could have gotten. Other than Modest, which I mean Timid, it might actually be better for it. I think Sunny is actually our fastest Pokemon now. Holy... Oh my god, we've created an absolute monster. Alright, let's see. Do you got Bug Buzz for me? I'm pretty sure it should. Now that we're Volcarona. We have Dragon Breath. No, that's not that strong. I'd rather take Dragon Pulse if you have it. It gets Hurricane? And Fiery Dance. Oh my god, this thing is... And bu Okay, well we're taking the Bug Buzz, obviously. And we're taking the Quiver Dance. Obvious, obviously. How did we go from Raiden being by far our most OP to now we have three absolute monsters on the team? I mean, honestly, even Celestial is really, really good with the Serene Grace. Our only weak Pokemon, I would say, is Karama. <laughs> and it's also even got Nasty Plot. So, like, our whole team is just full of threats. I would say this was a success.